Sometimes we have geometries that overlap in neat line projects, such as in this example where I have a polygon and then a point over top of it. The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. In this example, I'm able to click on both the polygon and the point. But sometimes we have this example and we are unable to select that point, but we may be able to select another piece of geometry on top of it. We can control the order in which points appear. In this case, our goal being to have this point appear on top of this polygon by using something called the Z-index in the style area. Right now, our Z-index is empty, but we can use the Z-index to stack geometries one on top of the other. The higher the number, the higher above uh, a piece of geometry another layer will be. So if we give our point a 1, for example, and the polygon a 2, the polygon will automatically appear on top of our point. Now if we go to the West Campus polygon and take a look, I have already set this up in order to overlay the polygon on top of the point as an example. Here, my z-index is set to 5, but the chapel z-index, this point here, is set to 0. If I change this z-index, let's say to 1, and return to the chapel z-index, and set it to 2, I'll click Save. And now I should be able to click on the West Campus and on the Duke Chapel.